languages, cultures, and traditional ways of life, which form the foundation of our state's identity and bring hundreds of thousands of tourists to our state each year, creating thousands of jobs and building our state's economy, sharing the Zia Sun symbol by the Pueblo of Zia, and yeah. serving in our nation's How are the roads now? Pretty bad. Are they and still? whereas we're in the of have overcome many challenges during history and continue to experience significant health, economic, and educational disparities like when compared Seven. with their fellow citizens. It's too and early. Whereas the New Mexico Department of Indian early. Affairs is working diligently with all state agencies to continue to put into practice the five provisions of the State Tribal Collaboration Act, including organizing the annual State Tribal Leaders Summit, ensuring all cabinet level agencies develop and implement policies that promote positive government to government relations, ensuring all cabinet level agencies designate a tribal liaison as an initial point of contact to ensure that the STCA compliance, assisting with developing cultural competency training for state employees, and assuring that all cabinet level agencies submit an annual report that outlines how they have worked with the tribes and addressed issues facing Native Americans. And whereas, as a result, the state and tribal governments continue to make important progress in the areas of health, education, law enforcement, community infrastructure, and economic development. Now, therefore, I, Susana Martinez, Governor of the State of New Mexico, do proudly hereby proclaim the third day of February, 2012, as American Indian Day. Signed, the Governor of the State of New Mexico. welcome you to celebrate this special day. As you all know, the relationship between the state and the Indian nations, tribes, and pueblos is guided by the principles outlined in the New Mexico State Tribal Collaboration Act. This act emphasizes the importance of communicating, collaborating, and most importantly, developing a mutual respect and understanding of the roles that we each play. Ensuring that we maintain strong and productive government to government relations is imperative to the health of New Mexico we all love so very much. And I'm committed to working together with each tribe, nation, and pueblo to ensure this directive is fulfilled. And it is an honor to listen and learn from one another as we tackle the issues that we are facing as a community and as a state and to celebrate the unique and sovereign relationship each tribe has with the state. Each year, visitors travel to New Mexico, and when they come, they are not only attracted to our state's beauty, they are enamored with the diversity of our culture. Many of them come to learn about your heritage, your history, your language, and your unique talent of creating fine arts. And right here, right now, during the legislative session, I'm fighting for priorities for all New Mexicans and Native Americans, like education and job creation. Two top things that are very important for all the people of New Mexico. When it comes to education, for far too long, the status quo has failed our children. You know it, I know it, and unfortunately, so do our children. It is time to be bold, and it is time to worry about seeing our students succeed rather than defending a broken system. The time to transform our education is now. Change it from one that is failing to one that models student achievement and prepares our kids to chase their dreams of the future. Whether they pursue a college education or enter the workforce, 
because I truly do believe that every child can learn if they are given the right tools for success. And if you're going to remain a contender in the global market, we must educate and train a generation of innovators, entrepreneurs, and job creators. My budget currently is proposing $97.2 million to target education reform initiatives and to provide support for our public schools and our school teachers. Right now, our state is near the very bottom in terms of achievement. 80% of our students, our fourth grade students, 80% do not read proficiently. And in some areas, for every student who graduates from high school, there is another student who drops out. Above all else, we need to do a better job of identifying kindergartners, first graders, second graders, and third graders who are struggling to learn to read. We have to close the achievement gap. Every child is important. We have to focus on the children that are not achieving and bring them up, whether they be Native American or not. That's why I am proposing an investment as well to make sure that when our kids graduate that they have a job. I am proposing $55 million in reforms to our tax code that will also help New Mexico be more competitive and lay a foundation for job growth so that our children, when they graduate, they don't leave our state. They stay right here in New Mexico. Throughout the years, the state of New Mexico has come a long way to assist Indian nations and tribes and pueblos in establishing vibrant and thriving Indian communities. Since 1994, New Mexico has appointed more than 200, or is actually a, a, appropriated, more than $230 million for capital outlay projects to Native American communities. These funds were used to build, repair, and renovate community facilities and all types of capital improvement projects. We also allocated $15 million for Indian water rights and the settlements during the special session. The beginning and beginning of this year, a new program will provide a reliable stream of funding for the tribal infrastructure fund. This will make funding more available for community improvement projects, projects like roads, water, wastewater systems, health and emergency response facilities, and electric power line extensions. We are committed to making all communities better. I believe that there is still much that we can accomplish with a unique relationship between the state and the tribes. And I hope that we can continue to move forward to ensure each one of our Native American communities is offered opportunities to thrive. I welcome you today to celebrate Indian, American Indian Day, and it is exciting to have you all here. I'm pleased that the snow didn't keep anyone away. It is beautiful outside as it is here in the Rotunda. Thank you so very much.